बसमीम अल्लाम जय स्टूडेंट्स एंड व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल डी जी मैन पॉइंट असल इन टूडे वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द सोशन ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री पार्ट वन विच इज रिलेटेड असाइनमेंट नंबर टू ऑफ सब्जेक्ट वन फोर थ्री जीरो विच हैज नेम्स इज इन स्टेटिस्टिक्स एंड फर्दर इट इज रिलेटेड टू सेमेस्टर स्प्रिंग ट्वेंटी and it is a part of uh, AIOU examination system this uh, assignment is related to the uh, level BA BCom and BBA remember that for BBA passing marks are 50 while the rest to BA BCom for the passing marks is 40 total marks are 100 so let's move to the question number 3 and part 1 Here is the question number three. We only cover part A in this video. In the next video, part two, we will cover the solution of part B. In finance, it is of interest to look at the relationship between Y, a stock's average return, and X, the overall market return. Let's suppose overall market return means you can say from an example from the Pakistan KSE Hundred Index. The overall market return, yeah, the hundred index or all index, all share index in Pakistan Stock Exchange. The slope coefficient computed by linear regression is called the stock's beta by investment analysis. A beta greater than one indicates that the stock is relatively sensitive to changes in the market. A beta less than one. Indicates that the stock is relatively insensitive to change in the market for the following data. This is the data y is dependent variable and x is independent variable and x is shows the overall market return in percentage and y is the return of uh, specific stock y. Compute beta and test to see whether it is significantly less than one at the 0.05 level of significance. In this part, you have to check the significance of the beta. Means that if the value of beta is less than one, it will be significant or means sensitive or insensitive or insignificant. Means if there is a changes in beta and which is less than one. So it is significant or not? That is a hypothesis that we are going to be calculate or conduct to evaluate whether this claim is correct or not. So let's move to the solution part that I have made in Excel workbook. So here is the solution. Look at this for B coefficient of slope, which is termed as beta in this question, and normally it is termed as Small b. So, slope the best fitting regression line, which is also called slope of the co co uh, coefficient of regression. So, here is the data. So, I am going to use this formula to find the value of beta mean b. Here, solution x y minus n into x bar y bar means mean mean of x and mean of y. So, x k. Here I am just taking the x square of this, 11 square as 121, and then take the sum of this column. Now I need the x y multiply these two column. Then I will get all the corresponding values values of x y regarding x y, and then their total is 1301. Y square, the y square represent the square of this column, so total is 1189. Now come to the further information. N sample size n is equal to 10. Uh, you can simply count it from here to there. Uh, otherwise, you can apply a formula that I have applied formula here. Count from 43 to 52. It will give me 10 observations. Mean simply average formula. Otherwise, you can divide this. One zero seven by ten, you will get ten point seven, and one hundred thirteen by ten, you will get eleven point three mean of x. Now beta, 
to find out the value of beta i have used this formula earlier i have told you that so just putting all these values in this formula you will get this value 0.41008 or 0.4101 okay now we need to find the value of intercept a so a is equal to intercept is equal to y bar minus b into x bar mean of y x bar means mean of x by putting all the element values in this formula we will get the value of a 6.06606 or 6.07 if you want to keep uh, decimals on two places now i am going to be establish my hypothesis step 1 as not is equal to beta less than 1 we are going to evaluate or check the significance of beta if its value is less than 1 so at 0.05 level of significance b less than 1 beta is significant below 1 then its alternative as it is uh, one tail so alternative is also one tail h1 is equal to alternative hypothesis b greater than equal to 1 opposite of h not step 2 alpha is equal to 0.05 or 5% level of significance step 3 critical region or acceptance region you can check it from the table degree of freedom is 8 10 2 because two variables are involved here two means are involved here 0.05 minus 1.860 then p value is not 1 is 0.0999 how i will get this look at this b76 this into degree of freedom sorry 8 let me check it yes so Shows me one. Okay, it's one. We take it as one. Hundred percent. One one means hundred percent. Step four. T beta minus one divided by S B. For S B, we use this formula. S E over S machine S K minus N square. Here S is. For S E, we are going to use this formula. So I am going to use use this formula. S C point eight nine five three five, and S B we will get this value by putting all these values into the element formula T we will get the value of T is equal to minus 9.863. Conclusion: We are make conclusion or we are going to make this here on the basis of two criteria: one based on critical value or based on the p value. Critical value minus 1.86 greater than minus 0.9863, which is opposite of the Uh, null hypothesis so we reject h not it means if the beta value is less than 1 it is not significant or the assumption that we have made if the value of beta is less than 1 it is significant based on p values which is equal to 1 greater than correct this one please 1 also greater than 0.05 therefore we can't accept h not meaning we haven't found any evidence that show significance of beta if its value is below 1 I hope you will find this solution uh, useful for your assignment. If you found any error regarding uh, typo mistake or regarding calculation, you can uh, correct it in the comment section. Otherwise, if you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section. If you want to add something from your side, please drop your suggestion in the comment section. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button. and share with your friend thanks for watching assalam alaikum